If you're a trader filled with FOMO because you're in class all day or working and you're not able to be online 24 seven, Bloom has the solution for you. Bloom recently released an auto buy feature on their extension that will allow you to scrape Discord channels as well as Telegram channels. What a scraper is, it basically is a tool that will review messages that have been posted and anytime it identifies a CA, you can enable an auto buy feature that will automatically purchase those trades. Or if there's an alpha chat and specific callers want to make sure you're following all their trades, this gives you the ability to automatically buy those pasted CAs without being online. First, install the extension itself, as well as how to find those channels if you're not already familiar with what channels are performing really well. Head to otpchaser.com, click the Bloom Solana link, it'll launch the Bloom bot in Telegram. Once you do that, you'll hit start. If you have not started up Bloom before, you're going to get prompted with a new wallet that's generated. Make sure that you save your private key, import it into your Phantom backpack or Soulflare wallet, whatever the case may be, and then you are ready to get started. After you've started the Bloom bot in Telegram, head over to Bloom bot app and you'll click extension and then Chrome zip. You have the zip file, go to your extension manager tab, make sure that you have developer mode on, and then you're going to click load unpacked. When it install Bloom here, you'll see the brand new features that have been added, added Axiom support, as well as improved Telegram CA detection on all types of formatting. So I am gonna actually do a video on Axiom here shortly, so that'll be coming up, but Axiom definitely is a tool that you wanna get on as well if you have not already. Now that you've installed the extension, paste your access code and verify. Click get code, it'll give you this code. You're gonna copy the code that's been provided. You'll paste that back into the extension, verify, and now you can see your quick buy amounts go to settings. What we care about right now is the scraper settings. The scraper settings provide your Discord auto buy and Telegram auto buy amount. I'm just gonna put a point on each of those and skip contract if previously bought. So now that you've set your scraper settings, go over here for your presets, the set fees. Since we're doing such a small amount, 0.01, I'm gonna put my buy fee is 0 0.0001 and then my buy tip 0 0.001 and then my slippage 70%. And the reason why we're setting slippage so high is because we want to make sure that these transactions are going through. That's why we're having them run in the background. We want higher slippage on the buy side to ensure that the transaction is more likely to go through. So 0 0.001 and 0 0.001 sell tip. I'm keeping MEV on for buy and sell and auto tip off. Cool. Hit save. Trading preset on. Scraper settings set to 0 0.01 auto buy off Discord and Telegram. I'm not putting any limit orders right now. If setting limit orders, you would be putting in what you want your slippage to be. And then you'll see these are the site preferences for the extension where you want the Bloom extension to work. Those are initial settings within the bot. Go to settings, um, buy fee, I just decreased to 0 .001, 0 0.0001 and sell tip 0 0.001. Turn Mev Protect on slippage because we're on auto buy. This is for within your bot, but generally speaking, because I'm just using these to snipe, I'm increasing up to 70% just to increase the likelihood that transactions land. And since I'm using such small amounts with low fees, I need higher slippage. I'm in the Potion Alpha Discord right now. And basically, what you can see in the top left here is this start auto buy. This is what would trigger the scraper, allow Bloom to automatically buy any of these CAs posted in this channel. So these are monitor channels. You can see here that this is the good dev launch, the dev with two tokens, one with greater than 500K market cap. This means this is a dev who has created a project that has migrated previously. We can see up here, first ever Doge on the internet. They did first Bitcoin kid, which ran up to one mil. These are people that have launched projects that have migrated before. That does not necessarily mean it's a great project, but it usually does get people to buy. And so most people do kind of, kind of blindly follow these launches and be like, hey, like, you know, this is a base dev. They ran up tokens before they can do it again. The biggest thing to understand about using a scraper is the risk reward. If you are setting your scrapes for auto buy at 0 0.01 and it lands 100 trains a day, that's one soul you're burning on these auto buy plays. Do you believe your scraper will hit 100x? I believe one of these trades will be 100x, which is why you would want to get in with the scraper because 
it kind of mitigates the risk reward in the sense that one of these plays is likely to hit. So that's kind of the thing that you need to balance. What you're scraping needs to have a higher likelihood of being something that could run up to be 100x. For the Orbo monitors, these launches are sent to this channel at 6K market cap. You're not gonna get in at 4.6K because there will be some delays in terms of when it fires, etc., as well as other people buying. But think about it like this. If you're able to get an entry on any of these underneath 10K and it runs to a million, you've made your one soul back on the trade. That's what I'm willing to gamble on auto buys. And because I don't care about that amount, I'm willing to let it run or go to zero. If it runs all the way up to 1 million, and I got in underneath 10K, then I'm going to make my one soul back from the 100 trades I auto on. If one of the things I entered not only hits 1 million, but it runs up to 10 million, now my point buy has gone up to being worth 10 soul. And so that's kind of what you're weighing the risk reward. Throwing in these negligible amounts on scraper channels likely to be profitable more times than not, then you can still come away running this as an auto buy, still being profitable. You can do the same thing on their CT tracker. So obviously they've got super large number of people on the CT tracker. So anytime CA would be posted by any of the projects that are being followed or influencers, put in the settings, don't buy anything that you've bought before. Keep your auto buy on, put auto buy on the Twitter tracker. The other thing that you can consider is like, I know that both in Shocked as well as in Potion, they have their wallet tracker tab. This is another way to copy trade profitable wallets, but there are risky people here. If you think about it in a way, it's an opportunity again to, if you wanted to do something like 0.01, you pretty much are getting into every play. The best wallets in the space are entering. What's a way to copy trade different wallets at the same time. And again, because we put on the settings for the scraper to only buy ones we haven't bought before, you don't risk of constantly like aping into the same ticker a bunch of different times. So that would be something to consider is to do it on a wallet track channel. Here's their caller channel in Shocked. So you can run auto buy on the official caller channel. All the calls, the callers are playing, you're entering. All right, that was adding the scraper to Discord. Now let's talk about Telegram. So if you don't know whose channels to follow, there is a great tool, zap.xyz, also in, uh, my bio page, otpchaser.com, go to Zapbot, open it to TG channels, and you'll see you can filter by win rate or calls. DJ and Warzone called Jelly Jelly um, 2X, but you know, they've made a few other calls that have been decent. So this might be something to follow. So Mad Apes is one that a lot of people follow. Click the TG link, hit open in web, and then you'll see the option to start auto buy. That is how you enable it in Discord as well as within Telegram. Hopefully this helps you folks that are in school or at work all day and not able to kind of like trench 24 seven. Um, if you have questions on setup or settings, drop them in the comments, happy to help. Stay tuned on a couple of the other videos coming out on Axiom to help you with bundle detection and understanding how to better identify what bundles are too risky, et cetera. Beyond that, happy trading, stay blessed.